Well, we are just days away now from Organization Day at the State House. Now that Election Day is over, what is the new makeup of lawmakers? State House Bureau Chief David Williams joins us live with more on that. Good evening, David. Good evening to you. As we get closer to session, there's a question looming. Will the supermajority stay in place and stay the same, or will there be a shift in the balance of power here at the State House? Well, the answer depends on who you ask. I'm very excited about this uh, upcoming uh, budget session, legislative session. Um, there'll be some new faces, some, some uh, new backgrounds, and um, I'm looking forward to meeting some that I've not met yet in the State House. Indiana's GOP party spokesperson tells me there are eight new GOP House members and three new state Republican senators. So there'll be new blood in there, which is always great, but I think you'll see a continuation of good, strong fiscal policy and conservative values. Well, we are certainly disappointed that we didn't re-elect Senator Joe Donnelly, um, but across the state we had wins locally, and we're also glad to be sending some new members to the General Assembly. State Democrat Chairman John Zodi tells me they've got eight new House members and one new state senator. Zodi says that's a total increase of four seats. Well, they're still technically a supermajority, so we got closer to breaking that, that supermajority in the House. In the House and Senate, Zodi says Democrats want to get a hate crime law passed in 2019. In recent days, Governor Holcomb said he'd make it one of his priorities. We're hopeful. Uh, we're glad that the governor has, has decided to make it a priority after Democrats have been pushing for it for some time. It needs to happen. The governor's out in front on this and in a strong position. I think we'll see where the legislature goes, but there's been a lot of support in the past over hate crimes legislation. It's just what is the language? What does it say? Today, Governor Holcomb told us he wants to focus 2019 on strengthening Indiana's economy, skilling up the workforce, and attacking the opioid epidemic and infrastructure. How we continue to connect with ourselves and, and the rest of the country in the world through our infrastructure programs. So all those lawmakers will be here next week on Tuesday, the 20th. That's when Organization Day is. I'll have coverage on that day. We're live at the State House. I'm David Williams, Wish TV News 8.